I've been working on ways to do DIY earphones that don't require a 3D printer. And in that process, I found something rather interesting. This is uh, one of the piezoelectric elements that go inside the earphones. And yeah, uh, they've always worked fine for me. And as I was doing this uh, experimentation, I uh, couldn't get it to work. Couldn't get it to work, couldn't get it to work. The sound was just minimal, absolutely minimal. And there was something that I did not realize what was going on. And it's one of these things that's easier to show you than it is to tell you. So here we have our sound generator hooked up. This is one of my microphones back here. And we'll do this. And you might notice that it's not very audible. Let's see, yeah, we have it on 5 kilohertz, uh, lower end of human hearing. Now, let's, uh, actually, let's start with this one over here. And we'll just do this. Notice the difference? There's that. And there's that. Now, you may say, oh, well, yeah, you're focusing the sound. Well, sort of. But not really, no. How about if I just do that? Quieter. Louder. Quieter. And, I mean, this isn't going to focus it very much. It's a very small little ring. Wow, huge difference, right? Yeah, um, I don't know where my brain was at, but... You know, this is a speaker cone, and if you have an unconstrained speaker cone, it's just flapping in the air. It's not creating a sound wave. It's, uh, the thing is just, yeah, flapping around. So as soon as you start to constrain it, even a little bit, like with my fingers, which aren't really very good because they'll absorb a lot of sound, you get a lot more, get a lot more volume out of it. So, uh, yeah, my experimentation, I had a video half made, and I'm going to have to back that thing up. And <laughs> rethink it because uh, I thought there were a lot of other problems going on and in fact all it was was I had a poorly constrained piezoelectric emitter. So uh, if you are working on your own DIY earphones that is something to consider. You need a constrained piezoelectric element. Okay well that was it. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your DIY crystal radio experimentation.